Mr. Speaker, when the Conservatives launched their anti-wheat board agenda, we warned it would hurt Canadian farmers. Right. And now Viterra sell-off will leave majority of Canadian grain handling in foreign control. These are world-leading assets built by Canadian farmers. This is a short-sighted sellout that will strip us of a leading Canadian company and leave farmers vulnerable to foreign interests. Mr. Speaker, why won't the Conservatives realize their misguided priorities are hurting Canadian farmers? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, Minister of Natural Resources. Mr. Speaker, the members should come west and see how excited Western Canadian farmers are about the fact that they have increased. <laughs> now, have the freedom to market their own grain, Mr. Speaker, based on what's best for their own businesses, whether that's the open market or through a new and viable uh, Canadian wheat board. Canada's agricultural sector continues to present great opportunities for Western Canada, namely more buyers uh, for Canadian products. The Investment Canada Act will provide for the review of significant foreign investments in Canada if the transaction is subject to review. Uh, it, the test is that it must be of net benefit to Canada, and uh, we look forward uh, to continuing to give Western Canadian farmers more choice as they do their business. The Honourable Member for Welling. Well, Mr. Speaker, let me give the Parliamentary Secretary a hand. Two-thirds foreign-owned control is not in Canadian interests. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, not only do we lose control over the grain trade, but we will create a near monopoly in farm supply. I wonder how Canadian farmers in the West, which I have visited numerous times this year, really feel about that one. This deal poses a huge risk for Canadian farmers and needs to be reviewed. We're calling on the Competition Bureau to review this deal. It also needs scrutiny under the, the Investment Canada Act. Will the Conservatives stand behind us and support our calls? for a transparent review of this diabolical, diabolical deal.